In this video, I want to give you a simple Facebook ads trick that's going to save you time and money and lots of both. The way that it's going to save you time and money is by reducing the number of false and useless leads that you generate through your instant lead form campaigns. So I hear it time and time again from companies, businesses using Facebook's instant forms. The quality is really bad. They're getting a lot of spammy leads or they're getting leads where they call them and people say, I don't even remember completing a lead form like what are you talking about so this simple trick or actually two tricks will reduce the amount of those people that you get filling out your lead form drastically it's really easy to do you can implement it right now and you'll start saving a lot of time and money waste and spend on people submitting lead forms that don't actually want the lead form or the service so i'm inside an example ad account i'll just go quickly show you how to do this so obviously you hit create you're going to create a leads campaign hit continue. I'm not going to show you in this video how to do the full setup of lead campaigns. I've got another video that I'll link to here where you can go and see how to properly set it up. In this one, I'm just going to show you this trick for your instant forms to prevent all of these nonsense leads that you don't need. In the ad set level, you just want to make sure that instant forms is selected. Facebook have started selecting instant forms and messenger by default. Wouldn't recommend it. Instant forms only. And then you jump into your ad level. This is where I'll show you how to do these two tricks. So you want to scroll down to your form section and click on create form. So there is a new type of Facebook instant form, which you may or may not have here called rich text. I'm going to do another video about those. They're really interesting. Facebook gives you a lot more information that you can pass to your customers to try and sell to get that lead, which I think will also help this problem. But in this video, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about reducing the amount of people who are submitting lead forms that are wasting your time and wasting your money. So you have two main options here, excluding the new option. You have two main options, more volume and higher intent. So the reason that you get so many of these bad leads when you use Facebook's instant forms, very simple. In the forms section here, all the information that you're asking for usually, which is email, phone number, maybe address, something like that. If your form is really simple like that, then it gets auto-filled. As soon as somebody opens it, Facebook has that information, it populates it, and all they need to do is click next, and then they get to this page, they click submit, and that's it, they've become a lead. That's why you get people on the phone saying, I don't even remember becoming a lead because it literally takes seconds for that to happen. They might have just accidentally clicked on your ad, it's auto-filled, they've clicked next to try and get off the lead form and then clicked submit and now they're a lead. You're calling them, they don't know what's happening, you don't know what's happening. Money wasted, time wasted. So then you might think, oh well, maybe it's a good idea to go with this higher intent. This is obviously Facebook's solution to that problem. The only difference between higher intent lead forms and more volume is this. So when you get to the end of a higher intent, it gives you this little recap of your information that's again been auto populated, but instead of clicking submit, now there is a slide to submit. So this is Facebook's solution to this problem. In my experience, this doesn't really work because it's just as easy if someone's opened the form and they're confused how they got on there and they're trying to get off it, they will just follow the instructions until they get off the form. And in this case, they'll just slide to submit. You'll still get the same problems. People submitting forms that either aren't relevant to your business or they don't know that they submitted them or they're bots, something like that. So neither of those options actually works for reducing this problem. Plus what I've found in my experience, if you use higher intent, your lead cost goes up, but your conversion rate doesn't go up. So I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend sticking with more volume. And then here is the simple trick to reduce the amount of unnecessary and irrelevant leads that your business is getting, save you time and save you money. So you go down to the questions section here, click on that, and you'll see here a button that says conditional logic. So you wanna turn that on. So what this is gonna allow you to do is to ask questions to your prospects and based on their answers, you can filter them to either end and close the lead form because they're not relevant, or go on and submit their information and become a lead. It's a really simple way for you to actually filter out people who've accidentally clicked on your lead, people who are not actually relevant customers for you, and people who are just gonna waste your time and your money. So here's how it works. You've selected conditional logic turned on. Then what you want to do is click on this drop down, add a question. 
So best one for this, I think, is just to add a multiple choice question. So what question are you going to ask? It depends entirely on your industry, but you should have something in your mind if you're generating leads of people that you definitely don't want and people you definitely do want. So for example, for me, for my agency, we only work with clients who are spending a minimum of £2,000 per month on their Facebook ads. So for me, I would just add this question in here. How much are you spending per month on ads? And the two answers I'm gonna give, less than 2,000 pounds and more than 2,000 pounds. Now, all you wanna do is click on this little box here that says choose the next step, which is your logic. So if someone's using, if someone's spending less than 2,000 pounds, I don't want them as a lead. They're not gonna work with our business well. It's gonna to be too expensive for them. It's not worth our time, etc. So I would click this option here, close form. People don't give you their info and they see an end page for non-leads. You select that and you'll see here it now says E2 end page for non-leads. So instead of going on and giving you the details with this page, they will just see this end page here, which says, thanks for your interest. Based on your answers, this might not be the best fit for you. Check out our website to see what else we offer. And of course, like you can with the original thank you page on instant forms. You can edit this page as well. So it's E2 end page. If you go right down to the bottom where it says end page, you can see here you've got E1. You can change all the text for, this is for actual leads and you've got E2. So back up to our custom questions and our filtering. Back open to questions, multiple choice. So if someone selects less than 2,000 pounds, they go to ending page E2, they don't become a lead, they're gone. If they're spending more, then obviously we want to go to submit form, where they'll then give us their information, email address, phone number, etc., website, whatever other details you're looking for, and they'll become a lead. You can also here select another question if you want to filter further. So it might be the case, how much are you spending on ads per month? they select more than 2,000 pounds, you can then ask another question, which might be, how much do you spend on Facebook ads? And you can add that question in if you want to filter them even further. But just for the basic purposes of this video and to reduce the amount of unnecessary leads that you're wasting time and money on, I would just select submit form and they will go to E1 end page, which is the end page for actual leads. So that will be this page here. Thanks, you're all set. You can now visit our website. Obviously you can customize this if you wanna drive them to a YouTube video after, or if you wanna drive them to a specific landing page, etc. So that is simply the first trick. That will massively reduce the amount of useless leads that you generate with your Facebook instant forms. Everyone who comes and opens your form will see this question that is basically your filter question. So are they spending less or more than 2000 pounds on advertising per month? That would be an example for my industry. Maybe you're selling solar and you need people to actually be homeowners if they're going to become a lead. You can't install solar on a rental property. So again, that question would just go in here. Do you own the property that you are inquiring about. And this can just be a simple yes and no. So obviously if they say yes, you want them to submit the form and they'll go to landing page one, E1, which is your, this is a lead form, thank you. If they say no, then you close the form and they will go to E2. It's really as simple as that and it's gonna save you a lot of time and money. So the second little trick and this is something that not a lot of people will actually do, but just to point it out because it can be used by your competitors and it's just a bad idea. Specifically, if you're a local area business, this is a really bad idea. If you click on settings at the top here, which most people don't notice, some people do, and this video is for you people who are doing this. So by default, the sharing option is restricted. This means that your lead form is delivered only by Meta only to people that you target in the target area with the interests or the demographics that you've targeted. If you select open, it means that anybody can share your lead form. Now, the reason that I say this is a bad idea and you shouldn't 
leave it on open, you should change it to restricted. It's because if you have particularly malicious or nasty competitors and you have this option, they are then free to show that lead form around to as many people as they want and they'll all fill it in for a laugh or to just waste your time or whatever. It also could be the case that you deliver it to a specific person living in a specific area that you can deliver to. They, they're not interested, but they've got a friend who lives 200 miles away that you can't deliver to and they share it to them, they fill it in and you're back to wasting your time with leads that are irrelevant. I would not recommend selecting open. I would leave it on restricted, which is the default setting. And I think the reason it's a default setting is because Facebook knows it's much better for you as a business if you do the targeting and leave sharing off. So those two really easy, quick to use tricks that you can implement now to save a massive amount of time and money on unnecessary leads, unqualified leads, and people who just aren't gonna use your business. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, feel free to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.